Welcome, my fellow agents. I am Agent Multi Chang, Master Disguise. And today, I'm going to be doing an experiment. I've been watching videos uh, lately about how uh, certain things can affect your mental health. Like, uh, you know, just out, just otherworldly or like other influences, whatever the fuck, right? Just shit like that. I find that shit interesting. But anyway, I'm uh, going to be conducting an experiment on myself. I'm going to attempt to stay awake for an entire week, seven days straight. And I'm not, I'm going to try to not fall asleep once. I'm not even going to take a fucking nap. I'm not even going to take a goddamn nap. I'm not going to lay down and close my eyes for longer than like two seconds. And, um, yeah, we're going to, I'm, I'm going to every single day, every single day until, uh, until like Sunday or next Monday, because today is Monday currently. It is the twenty eighth, I think. Today Monday, the twenty is it the twenty eighth, twenty seventh or twenty eighth. Either way, it's Monday. It's a uh, late December. It's on Monday, and um, like I said, I'm gonna stay uh, awake for a whole seven days, and um, I'm gonna see and I, yeah, I'm gonna document every day. Every day, I'm gonna come on here, uh basically just talking to the camera a little bit um document my experience uh and how sleep deprivation will affect my state of mind now uh if you've been on this channel for any amount of time you'll know that i may not be the most uh mentally stable person on earth because this is how i am i like to be goofy i like to be funny i like to tell jokes and um i don't think the joke telling will stop Maybe, maybe it'll increase, if anything. I don't know. Uh, we'll see, though. Here, let me all right, take a sip. Mm. Bought some fucking Jack in the Box earlier. Ate that shit the fuck up. Mm. Um, also, a small update on a small update on a, what I've been doing and uh, where I've been and why I've kind of stopped upload, why, why I didn't continue with my, with my, um, with this project here uh the go retro pro i decided that i was gonna basically not do the part two and part three to it because pretty much there isn't much to see on this like yeah it has over 250 games but most of those games are pretty much like either the same thing or like i don't know how to explain they're they're all just a bunch of it's, it's essentially just a bunch of mini games right stacked into one console uh like i said I, I remember i paid like what 45 bucks for it my opinion not really worth the money um like so that's pretty much my final review it's not really worth the money it was just a fun thing to maybe pick up if you're uh if you got like a kid or something and you want to get him get him like a little game system that he can take around with him for whatever reason to keep him entertained maybe that would be a good option for you but for me personally like you know i got a phone i got a game if you really want to play tetris and other games like that made by the tetris company just fucking get an emulator you know easy as that um but yeah that's my that's my final thoughts on that uh wrapping that up now uh anything else anything else uh i gotta think about um i mean i not not really not anything too important regarding the youtube channel um i oh actually you know what Maybe I should mention something important. Um, I may be infected. Yeah. So, uh, we'll see. Um, I'm not going to give the full details, but I just want you guys to know that uh, I have been, uh, I have come in contact with per with a person, not going to name who, not going to name names, but I have come, in con come into contact with a person who was who got tested and then tested positive like the day after I spent time with them. So, um, so for all I know, I could be, you know, I, I, I could have, you know, the, you know, the, the beer virus in my system. So I am currently quarantining myself, uh, as you do. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I've, what I pretty much have done is I've stocked up on food and, uh, and yeah, I'm going to be staying inside my house for the 10 day period. After the 10th day, I'm going to go out. I'm going to get tested. If I test positive, I'll update you on that. Um, but 
uh, for the moment right now, I'm just staying home and I'm trying to, you know, stay safe. Bought some soap, bought some hand sanitizer. I'm frequently showering, frequently cleaning, like, everything that I own. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty much, pretty much that's what's going on right now. Um, yeah, and it's kind of part of the reason why I wanted to do this sleep deprivation experiment as well. Because uh, I'm pretty much the whole 10-day period to where it has to get into your system the whole that whole 10 day period these seven days are basically happening in the middle of that so um so it's a perfect time you know for me to do it um so yeah uh, like i said we're gonna begin today and um i'm gonna set some ground rules for myself uh pretty much like i said i i cannot fall asleep i can't even take a nap like once during this whole during the whole time you know i have to stay awake um, like I said, starting today, it will end, uh, it will end on Monday. Okay. Yeah. So sorry. So I'll, I'll, uh, stay awake through all the nights and on Sunday night, on Sunday night, I will stay awake Monday. Once, m once Monday morning starts, like, I don't know, like maybe like 6 AM or 8 AM or something, then I will, uh, then I will bless myself with a sweet sleep and I will probably stay asleep for like the next two days um so yeah i might i might actually put myself in a fucking coma uh but uh, we'll see what happens honestly um i don't know how much it will actually affect my mental state but um i do want to make it known that i i actually have when i was a, a young child when i was about like uh like what eight years old or something i did stay awake for like three days straight and then I fell asleep on like the third day. Um, I stay awake for three days straight because it was like summer. And, you know, being a little kid, you kind of prioritize uh, certain things over like over being healthy. Of course, now as an adult, I realize that that fucking sleep, having a healthy sleep schedule is more important than video games. But back then when I was a kid, I didn't really know that. So I stayed away for three days straight and it didn't affect me too much. And, uh, yeah, but, um, this has, this is something I have done unintentionally, but this time taking it a step further, I'm going to try it a whole week. Um, and you know, being sort of an adult and having less energy than I did back then, it might be a little harder. Uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, today and then like, so day one, which is today. And then like day two, I'll probably like knock out. No problem. Like I might get a little tired, but I don't know. Um, on the, on the third day, it might be a little harder, but actually in case I do get like extremely tired, I have a plan. Uh, I have backup plans. So I have bought. Uh, totally not sponsored, by the way, but I've bought these um, fucking Starbucks Frappuccino thingies. Um, I don't like Starbucks. I don't like going to Starbucks because I believe that the people who drink Starbucks every day are the type of people that I don't want to be around. But I also have, I don't want to show you my fridge, but whatever. I have Red Bull energy drinks. So yeah, I've got coffee and I've got energy drinks. So I just got caffeine. If I get too tired, then I'll just like drink one, uh, boost up my, boost up my, um, my staying awakeness. I don't know. Pretty much help, help me out to stay awake a little bit. Um, probably not healthy again, but you know, neither is, neither is staying awake for seven days straight. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, like I said, every single day I will document my experience and I'll, you know, uh, and I'll try to, I'll try to express to you how, how it affects me mentally and maybe even physically also. And I'll just, basically I'll, I'll just take you guys on a journey day by day and I'll tell you like, Hey, this is how I'm feeling. Uh, this is what's going on. And I'll just, you know, maybe even talk about anything. Like, for all I know, for all I know, on the seventh day, I could just go full, like, rabid. I don't even know. But we'll see, dude. Honestly, dude, honestly, it's about the experience, dude. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. And this this journey might take me somewhere that I don't want to go, but we'll see, dude. We'll find out. Uh, but, yeah, uh, right now, I'm completely fine. Got a good night's rest last night. Um, eating healthy, you know. I'm, I'm all healthy right now, except for the, except for the Ronas. Um... I'm all healthy right now, but, uh, but yeah, uh, we'll see what happens.
but uh yeah uh thank you guys for watching and thank you for listening to my rambling uh video coming out tomorrow and the next like i said seven days then uh giving you guys some updates so uh yeah i'll keep you posted uh thank you for watching and see you later